this will be kind of a on script, off the script reason why. My first account, so kind of just want to clear the air, see what you know what has been going on with me past few years since I first closed it, the account. Um, so why did I close it? So the history behind it was, you know, I created the account just to watch a friend learn to speedrun Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Then later I became mod for his channel. Uh, later on it turned out that I wanted to start streaming because I had met some good people in there. That would be do it. So started with a laptop and then upgraded to PC right here. So the purpose of that first account was to you no know, just speedrun mainly. Yes, I did a link to the past because I I really like that game. Still do. And with that I met more people who were both friendly and unfriendly. So just brush off the friendly friendly ones. So what had happened later was I ended up being recruited by an uh, all-around gaming Twitch team and built a community around that. And just for other en entertainment purposes, you know, whatever I feel like streaming for the time being. Um, in the first account, um, later down the line, just shortly before I closed the account, I accomplished, well, it's a world record, but it's not. Nothing, nothing special. So, what were some things that happened and what drove me to close the account? So here is the, you know, the exact shit that happened. Not exact shit, but like, you know, list of things that happened that drove me to close that account. So, that same friend who got me to stream got his partnership and subscribe button and created a team for his Zelda speedrun friends and those same friends of his started attacking a few few people from the community I was part of via tweets, pace spin, straw, bowl, straw poll always sat back and watched from a so he had talked to them to cut back they still continue to be assholes so also the following things got under my skin which eventually, eventually result, uh, resulted in my burnout I became jealous of the people Around me, you know, the that I built community around them, getting subs and partnership, that was kind of like my my demon, and you know, streaming. You know, okay, cool, awesome. You got the sub. Holy shit, what am I doing? What am I doing different? Uh, actually, was on Twitter a lot, so I've uh, been reading, you know, stupid tweets. From you know, the community around me that gave me grief, so yeah, I, I spent a lot of time on Twitter. So people who I thought were my friends gave me grief. I didn't think it would be toxic until you know after the fact that I first closed the account. Looking at it retrospect, so I was like, this person did this, this person did that. So ah, come on. And I ended up doing a lot for people that I can imagine you know, within my community. You know, just, you know, being in low density streams, helping out streamer with the game, you know, talking to people that I added on Skype, playing with online friends on Steam. And, you know, like I said before, I was on Twitter a lot. So. And the final thing that was the nail in the coffin was that emulators were now banned for speedrunning. Uh, Certain game community decided it would be better that every speedrun was done legit. You know, like consoles, you know, capture cards and all that. That was the nail in the card. Okay. So what I did, I kind of took a step away for a month. And then I came back to Twitter later to, you know, announce that I wasn't going to, you know, speedrun for the time being. So... After I announced my forced retirement, I left it. I left the account alone. And I cut off a lot of people entirely, like ninety, 
95 to like 90 percent of them were all cut off slowly but surely i made sure almost all the friends i made that couldn't contact me anymore and eventually I closed it down during that time i was supposed to go to a huge speedrunning event but after the announcement i didn't i didn't do it the so one year i took a break i was playing offline Felt like I was nothing, like I was super, super empty. But at least it got me away from all the drama, so. Um, stayed away from emulators more, and actually I'm still in hiding right now. That same friend, I don't talk to him anymore. So he knows I stream, but left me a follow, but hasn't really done anything. You know the bad part is? I knew him in real life, so. Haven't seen him in a while. Some people knew that I'm back to streaming and I've since invited them back, you know, by word of mouth and um, another thing that I will explain later. But like those, maybe 95% of those people don't know. So the question is, am I going back to speedrunning full time? No. Um... Like with my regular streaming schedule, it's going to be part-time. Even with the recent uh, speedrun I did of Bionic Commando Rearm for the PC, I may try to beat the current world record. Not world, oh shit, I keep saying world record. You know, the current record that I have right now. But it's not going to be for a while. I have a lot of other games to finish. And in this broadcast, I'm going to you know, work on that slowly. So. What am I doing different from the last account? Um, I am no longer speaking internet and Twitch terms. Um, banning all links, banning all global emotes, except for a few. And as I mentioned before, streaming part-time. Um, there will be barely any speedrun streams. Seldomly watching streams. You know, I kind of value my own privacy more than anything in the world, so... Um, fewer act interactions with followers on Steam, Twitter, and Twitch. And I actually added a donation button, which probably would have kept me going if I'd learned to work PayPal out. And just, you know, being more me in general. So, what about that account? No, it's actually active again, so... Um, on certain days, I'll do video archives and try to, you know, fish out some follows from the old channel. Um, on that account uh, I'm just gonna like you know request uh, have people DM requests to follow the channel and I'll try to pick out you know what can message back to bring them back to this channel so that's to you know fish out the good ones what's up how's it going and try to like filter out the bad ones because, uh, to be honest, my old account is like a cesspool of shit. <laughs> so, you gotta fish out the shit to get the good ones out. So, so bottom line, what's the takeaway from all this? What lessons can be learned, you know, from this? You know, be yourself. Um, don't let anyone or anything set you back for being a good person. Learn to say no. That's my most difficult um, thing I have doing. I can't say no to to a lot of things. Uh, you don't owe anyone anything. Also, a number one thing that I need to keep in mind. Take care of yourself first before others. Have a good balance with, say, your real life, work, gaming, studying maybe. And last of all, fuck the haters. Don't let them get to you. Don't let those guys get under your skin. So, I hope that clears out everything um, as to why I first closed the CK account. And I hope that I'll be able to build a better community uh, with this account. So, yeah, that's it.